Good evening, my name is Rene Weidemann and it's a Friday afternoon and um, <laughs> it's 8.30 in the evening, I'm supposed to be at my family. Uh, but I first wanted to do just this intro about um, the first episode of Underdog Zone. So years ago I did Underdog Zone, uh, making you a hero, giving advice from Kingdom Business Principles and how to basically build your business out of a kingdom principle, the mindset of the kingdom mindness that's coming out of the Word of God, out of the Bible. And um, I had the opportunity to have 150 episodes on DSTV 341 and it aired and it was on TV in Africa, it was on, on uh, Clear TV, it, it was, there was a lot of platforms. Uh, so we are re-editing all of that because it was half an hour. So we're busy re-editing all of that. And the first episode, the first pilot episode, um, I had a privilege to interview my dad about his business adventures and what had he gone through. And he's also been an underdog, also lost everything, gained. Um, he, he's, he never gave up. But what he said was really interesting so I want to start with this what he said was really interesting the interesting part was a conversation will change your season a conversation with a friend a, a business partner um, there's a lot of strategies on on how to grow your network and this particular it's a short uh, it's a short video but it's about remember it was our first video it was back in 2015 uh, so the sound might not be so so good listen we're just re-editing it put a bit of cutaways on it but basically it is a conversation will change your season it's tough now the uh, South African market is down the American market is down um, everywhere in the world is down um, start building network start communicating with with relevant people that you want to be associated with start building your network on on where you want to go if you want to go to investment banking then start networking with people that's already in that industry if you want to start a plumbing business start making connections in, in that type of industry. Don't start the conversation on, um, hey, listen, can you give me advice? Start the conversation on what is the value that you can provide before trying to expect something back. And it's a kingdom principle. Seek first the kingdom and the rest will follow. First give before you can receive. So this, this is just an intro. But also want to give you context on this is a hunt there was 150 episodes on underdogs and 30 minute each so uh, there, there, there's a lot of content and i decided to re-release it um, on underdog zone's youtube channel so a conversation this is a conversation to to close a deal to 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 be a car salesman is a conversation to go see a doctor's um, to have a doctor's appointment is a conversation to hire somebody is a conversation to ask somebody to be a mentor is a conversation a conversation with God is the most important so start a conversation you know, in the back in the days, you say that at least you need to make five phone calls a day, start building out your network. Listen, I've tried to do that. And as, as I go through my contact list, I started realizing that, um, oh my goodness, um, I've got a lot of contacts, but it's not friends and it's uh, people that I haven't spoken for a while. And um, I need to see how I can re-engage and bringing them value so that I could start a conversation to change my season. Hope you do it as well. Are you just another person that
doesn't mix up the population. I just wanted to focus on how a conversation changes your season um, when you have a conversation. So, Dad, can you please tell me um, from how did everything start? Because at some stage, you went through a failure, an underdog stage, but we never knew about it. Um, Rene, thank you for the opportunity, and it's good to have you today at the show, and you're so welcome. And this conversation will change your life forever, because this conversation will be your seed. Um, you cannot separate God and business. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot not separate God. Let me start with this. You cannot separate God with business. Sure. I've been in a couple of businesses. We have done a couple of acquisitions and mergers. We, we have taken a mothballed company, mm -hmm. which, is, which is actually dormant, and we changed that company into a 90 million rand dollar company within one, sorry, within 18 months. What, so, so a company that's, that's completely, it's dead, all right, and you took it up to? 90 million rand per annum Yo. within 18 months. Is it due to us? No, it's due to a conversation because a conversation today will be your seed. And that conversation with negotiations, with new clients, you have to speak to someone. You have to elaborate around the kingdom of God principles. Therefore, you cannot change or you cannot separate God from the kingdom of God. So, you see, I think that's where the problem is. People, they said, no, but they can't pursue them business they, they, because they feel guilty. They, they feel that, no, God's not going to bless them if they, they focus on their business. But I want to tell you today that you need to start focusing on your marriage, in your business, your Amen. kids' life. You need to start focusing on the relationship you have with God. And that's all about having conversations with people, having conversations with a pastor, having conversations with, with friends, finding out new opportunities to change your season. Because a lot of people, what they do is, they, they say, no, they're on the drought season, they're in the desert, and they can't get out, and they don't know how to get out. I mean, how did you got out from, from um, your business into being very successful? I've been in a dry season for a couple of times in my life. I've been an underdog for a couple of times in my life. Um, after this huge company we built up, we lost everything because to the economical um, situation over, all over the world. I've lost everything. Yes. I've started over again because the conversation changed my season. And I've started again from nothing. Within two years, we have created a property portfolio of 22 million rand. Yes. From, from, 20, nothing. from nothing. From nothing. Is it achievable? Absolutely. I bet that, um, that, that God gives people wisdom and knowledge to do business. What, what is your opinion on that? I'm not serving the Lord Jesus Christ because what He can do for me. Yeah. I serve Him because I love Him. Yeah. And the kingdom of, the principal kingdom, let me tell you this, listen to this. The kingdom of God, or Jesus Christ, is the person mm. leads me to eternal life. Yes. But He left us in the Word, the principles, how to become successful. Mm. We have started approximately eight years ago with a congregation. A congregation, the turnover, 180,000 rand per annum. We okay. changed it over within two and a half years to 3.9 million rand Yo. in a congregation. So it's all about, it's all about the kingdom principles and, and taking the actions and using that kingdom principles in your own life, in, in the church, in your business, and your marriage. There's, so, there's certain laws in the Bible. Okay. There's a law of increase. There's a law of difference. There's a law of faith. There's a law of, of favor. And once you can grasp those certain laws, that's the kingdom of God. And once you can grasp that and you know that, my people perish due to a lack of knowledge. And therefore, I need you to get this kind of wisdom because this wisdom will change your words. Death and life is in the tongue. Yo, okay, now, now before we go on, before we go on, I've heard, um, of course, I, I grew up with, 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 obviously, with my dad, come on, honestly. <laughs> right. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, what, 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 I, what happened at some stage, we, we were on our way to, to move to London, to, to stay there, and um, I've never, I was too, too young to understand what happened there. What happened there? Because you already had a business, and then all of a sudden, we, you said we need to move to London. What, what happened there? We, we quickly, quickly, we can elaborate around that, because we had a business in South Africa, which the turnover one of 90 million rand. That's the one you just talked about. And, and, and the, our competition, which were based in London, the holding company, had also different branches in South Africa. 
and, and we become such a competition to them, they've approached us to buy the holding company over. And we bought it over by the grace of God for one pound. One pound? One pound, but we took over all the liabilities. That's a different story. But we over also overcome that through, through conversations. And today, this conversation will change your life. Let me tell you, you have met some people and people are there sometimes for a season, sometimes for life. And in your season, you must ask your one question. What can I learn from the person I've just met? Yeah. So that's a conversation. When we speak to God, that's a conversation. God never do. He speaks. Yes. And when, once He speaks, something happens. Yo, that's beautiful said. And, and I think when we, when we talk about the kingdom of God, there's, there's, there's a lot of aspects and a lot of secrets that we still need to discover. I mean, um, I've, I've got a philosophy is that sometimes it takes more than prayer to help somebody. All right. Pray, pray. You need to pray for people. We need to yes. pray and, and tell them God, yes. let yes. the love and the grace come yes. invest in that people, people's lives. But now you need to take you the second step. And the second step is action. How do you, how do you take the people from, from an underdog? Because you know what the good thing is of an underdog? If you feel like a failure, you feel like an underdog, you feel like you cannot fit into society. Underdogs will always become a hero. And that's, that's a oh, philosophy yes. in life. Oh, yes. So if you feel like an underdog or failure, just remember that God is busy with, with you on the road to success, to wealth. And you know what? There's a difference between wealth and success. Oh, yes. There's, there's a huge difference. Um, I, can, I can have a job of 5,000 Rand a month, but I can be more wealthier than the other person. So um, God, God is a God of content. He's a God of love and he's a God of, of, of plans. So you need to have a plan in your life and say, listen, this is where I want to go. This is where I want to, what I want to achieve. God, can you please help me and assist me to achieve that for my family, for my kids, for, um, for myself? I mean, if, if you, take, you take a normal, normal guy out there and you say, listen, God can change your life. He's going to say, okay, I know that, but how do I do that? Because people need to study their difference. Yes. What is your difference? What makes you, you? What makes me, me? Mm. I'm fearfully made to the image of God. So I have to study not my past, mm. not my competition. I need to study who I am because there's a divine purpose in my life. Yeah. And once I can determine that, my seed then, my seed becomes my bridge to my harvest. Mm.